Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you folks how to actually store numbers as letters within the calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's say, for example, you have two numbers that you wanna keep on doing different types of calculations with. We're gonna have square root of six, and we're gonna have 9.5423. Let's say, for example, you're gonna use these two numbers and you're gonna do a, a lot of calculations with them. So we have square root of six plus 9.5423. We're gonna do a few more. And we've got a whole bunch of repeat calculations that we need to do. Now, trying to put this in the calculator one at a time, it's just gonna to be too time consuming. But you can actually store these numbers as a bunch of different letters within the calculator. Now, if you have a look at uh, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, and X, Y, Z, they have a little uh, letters right on top of their, um, on the top left corner of these buttons. Now, these letters, you can actually take these numbers and store it in these letters. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to calculate mode. And right here, there's a little button called variable. So if you click on this button variable, as you can see, I've already got a few different numbers there. I would like to replace A with square root of 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on EXE and I'm going to click on edit. And I can write A is equal to square root of 6. The next one is B. I'm going to replace that with 9.5423. Now I'm wondering if I can just type it in straight away. Yes, I can. So I can go 9.5423. So what I've done here is I've actually stored that A is equal to square root of 6 and B is equal to 9.5423. So when I go to my first uh, question here, so let's have a look at question 1 here. This is going to be A plus B. So if I go back into the calculator and if I click on shift s four, which happens to be A, and I press equals, that's giving me square root of six. And if I click shift five, that's the letter B, and that's giving me 9.5423. So to do question one, what I could just do is I could just go shift four plus shift five, which is the B, and that's gonna give me A plus B, which equals to 11.9918 and for question number two I've got a times B plus a so what I could do is I could just go shift 4 which is a multiplied by shift 5 which is B plus shift 4 which happens to be a and when I press equals I am going to get 25 Point eight two three three. And looking at question number three. Question number three, what I've got here is bracket A divided by B close bracket to the power of A. So once again, I'm going to go shift four, but I'm, I need to make sure I put the put the A divided by B in brackets. So shift four is A divided by shift five, which is the B close bracket and then we're gonna do to the power of which is this button right here and we're gonna put in shift 4 which happens to be a so now what this has actually done is it's gone square root of 6 divided by 9.523 to the power of square root of 6 and that answer is equal to 0 0.0358 what if let's say you do something like you do a I don't know, hypotenuse, trying to find a hypotenuse and you get square root of 28 and you get 2 root 7 as the answer and you want to store this. So what you can do is click on a variable and let's say you want to choose that square root of 20, what was it? Hang on, square root of 28. I'd like to store this as the letter X. So just click on the answer button right here because what that will do is it'll take x equals answer. So whatever your last answer in the calculator was, it will now store as the x variable. So as you can see, you're gonna get x equals to two root seven. This is actually really useful because sometimes you have these long numbers, uh, you're rounded up quite early in the answers, 
but in the calculator you wouldn't actually round it up you'd actually store those answers as different letters and just keep reusing them so you don't actually um, have like any kind of early rounding errors that covers pretty much how to store these numbers as letters in your calculator so that you're don't have to keep typing those long numbers again in the calculator. It's a fairly useful tool to have.